I do hope that uh, 25 years from now, some 50 years, and a few of the little ones, maybe 75 years, you will look back and say, I was there. I was there when this great work of art that is now known throughout the world was unveiled for the first time. Ever since we began designing and building the oratory, the need for great art became apparent to us. When you design the university, you, you take into account in the architecture the need for beauty. Beauty leads us to the beautiful, which is God. And in this case, the beauty of the carved marble uh, really makes us just filled with wonder. Well, we started on the project four years ago and when they announced the competition uh, for the project, they knew they wanted the Annunciation because that's where Ave Maria got its name from. The sculpture begins in the quarry. I'm carving the marble directly. So I choose my marble, I see already the sculpture somehow in that marble, and I choose according what I envision to do it was quite an experience being at the uh, uh, cave where uh, Michelangelo got his marble for the uh, David and the Piazza. It's the best marble in the world. Yes. And this is, so this is sort of the best of the best. Actually, it is. I was here when the large trucks full of marble they arrived here. We were very excited. I instantly went out with holy water and blessed uh, the trucks and the marble. And we just were very impressed that this was going to be a great project. The highlights of the process was the first strike when he actually did take a hammer and chisel to the stone the first time. You're committed now. That first strike to me was the commitment. He's going to do it, he's going to be here, and it's going to go till it's done. He's the only sculptor I know that will dive into a big block of stone and just start cutting. That's not normal. I mean, that doesn't happen anymore. That's the Michelangelo thing. I think the installation itself was hugely stressful because after he's worked all these years to make it his vision, he has to literally turn it over to construction workers to put it up on the wall. I think there's about a three-eighths of an inch space uh, between the blocks and I remember hearing early on that if those blocks hit each other while they're moving, uh, they could shatter. I am very pleased and uh, it turned out far better than I even had imagined and I had very high hopes for it. I think it's going to be regarded as one of the great works of art. I really do. Like the David, like the Pieta. I expect it to be in art books. I, you know, and if you're going to take an art history book in 30 years, this is going to be one of the pieces that's there. Well, the idea is to make this uh, the modern day Florence. And uh, this is a major step in that direction. I think this would probably be remembered like when uh, the Pieta was unveiled or the statue of David was unveiled. You can only imagine what it must have been like for people back then. But, um, Years from now, people are going to be, I was there when the veil came down on this sculpture.